Setting a stop loss using the average true range ATR, indicator is a popular method among traders. ATR measures volatility and can be used to determine a potential stop loss level for a trade. Here are the steps to set a stop loss using the ATR indicator. Determine the ATR value, calculate the ATR value by taking the average of the true range over a specified period. The true range is the greatest of the following. Current high minus the current low. Absolute value of the current high minus the previous close. Absolute value of the current low minus the previous close. For example, if you're using a 14 period ATR on a daily chart, you would calculate the ATR value as the average of the true range for the last 14 days. Determine the ATR multiplier, decide on an ATR multiplier that will be used to calculate the stop loss distance. This can vary depending on the trader's risk tolerance and the market conditions. A common ATR multiplier is 2. Calculate the stop loss distance, multiply the ATR value by the ATR multiplier. For example, if the ATR value is 1.50 and the ATR multiplier is 2, the stop loss distance would be 3.00. Set the stop loss, subtract the stop loss distance from the entry price for a long trade, or add the stop loss distance to the entry price for a short trade. This will give you the level at which to set the stop loss. For example, if you entered a long trade at $50 and the ATR value is 1.50 with an ATR multiplier of 2, the stop loss distance would be 3.00. Subtracting this from the entry price gives a stop loss level of $47. It's important to note that setting a stop loss is not a guarantee that the trade will be profitable or that losses will be limited to the stop loss level. It is simply a risk management tool that can help traders minimize their losses.